Development team has been seeing amazing results with the new face cream. I mean, it's incredible. These numbers are very exciting. Good, good. It's okay if you're a bit distracted today. I know this is a hard time for you, losing Bobby so soon after Luke. Yet more proof that uh, life can change in the blink of an eye. But why don't we do this another time? We can reschedule. No need. He was supposed to be here with Lucy. You invited Lucy and Martin to our business lunch? You must be a glutton for punishment. I gotta take care of something. Just ask him to join us. So, where's your worst half? Say what? Lucy's assistant said she was gonna have a lunch date with you, and yet here you are all by yourself. I know Lucy didn't blow you off for work because she's not at the office. Where is she? Miss Gordon at the risk of sounding indelicate. You are aware that Bobby Spencer passed away. Yes, I am. She was my sister-in-law. Well, then it shouldn't be too much of a stretch for you to comprehend why Lucy's not exactly in the mood for a lunch date. Lucy and Bobby had a feud for decades. Yeah. It's true they had a complicated relationship, but the fact is that Bobby's death has hit Lucy very hard. As a matter of fact, if you must know, she and Scott are together right now. They're planning something for Bobby's memorial service. <laughs> what? Those two together? Oh, nothing good's gonna come of that. You know, Ms. Quartermain, the thought occurs, I should not have to abide your continually snide comments about the woman I love. Do not tie yourself into a knot defending Lucy Coe. She has chosen to take solace from Scott Baldwin. I mean it. Just because you two don't get along doesn't mean you need to grab every single opportunity to tear her down, especially when you both should be grieving. Tell me, has Lucy chosen to share her feelings about Bobby's passing with you? That doesn't mean anything. She's obviously processing an unexpected loss. Or she doesn't want you to see her real self. She won't let you in. Because if you knew the real sordid story about what Lucy did to Bobby, you'd run for the hills. But there is one person who knows Lucy Coe, warts and all, and through every despicable act has stood by her. That's Scott Ball. Lucy Coe is always just one step away from her next misdeed. And for as long as I can remember, Scott Baldwin has always been her go-to guy. You want to be collateral damage? Be my guest. Just don't ever say, I didn't warn you. What was that about? Or do I even want to know? Lucy and Scott are trying to put one over on me, but they clearly have forgotten who I am because you cross me and I destroy you.